Now you need to find top dead center for cylinder one on the compression stroke. Uh, a lot of these old boards have two different ticks on the harmonic balancer and two different timing marks. To find it on the compression stroke, I like to watch the valves or the push rods. And when the cylinder is going up towards the top and the push rods aren't moving, you know you're on the compression stroke. You can also put your finger on the spark plug hole and when you feel it pushing air out, you know that it's also on the compression stroke. Make sure you have it out of gear because if not, you'll have a hard time. When you find which uh, marks are top dead center, just mark them with some white out, make it easier to see later. Measure your harmonic balancer and divide it by three. Uh, your harmonic balancer may be a different size, so make sure you measure yours and don't just use my measurements. I didn't take very good footage, so I'm going to show you on this random wheel I got. It measures about 19 and a half inches, so I'll divide that number by three, and then from top dead center, measure, take that measurement and make the mark on your wheel. Mark it with white out. The first one will be point B, and then the next one will be point C. This here is the firing order, so when you're on mark A, which is top dead center on the compression stroke on cylinder 1, you'll adjust the valves for uh, cylinder 1. Then you'll move it to mark B, and you'll adjust it for 5, mark C for 3, back to A for 6, to B for 2, back to uh, C for 4. So I loosen these nuts up, and now I'm just tightening them until there's no upward or downward movement on the push rods. After you get it to there, you tighten it one full turn. You'll kind of see where I line my wrench up so I get one complete turn. Some guys online say to do it three quarters, but I did it, and it was still clacking on me. And so I just like to do it at once.
what he did. So, 